I need one brave volunteer. Okay. So what I need you to do is hand me that rope. Okay. Now I want you to sit in that thing. Okay. So, you ready? Yeah. All right. So, so what's going to happen is we start pulling this weight and not 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 very much of a weight I I might I might add. So, you know, we don't want to so so I'm going to pull this weight around and what would happen in 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 life is before long he can adjust to the fact that we're pulling weight. Would, would you agree with that? He's going to get a little bit more muscle, a little more endurance. So, all right. Thank you. What's your name? Hannah. Hannah. <clears throat> Thank you. What's that? Tell me to take the rope. Uh, I, I, you could put it back in, the, in, in there. And also, I, I may have you help me uh, one more time in, in a little while. Okay. okay if you can, yeah, set that right. Perfect. So what weight is, is those things in our past or those things that look like they're ominous in our future, but basically it's those things in our past that, that keep us from moving forward. It doesn't mean we can't. It means that we're not going to go as fast or as far or as effective as we can go. So, so when he says laying aside every, every weight and the sin, so if you can imagine the marathon runner saying, I, I, I'm supposed to head up that way. If I deviate just maybe... A uh, couple of degrees, it'll be a little easier road, and uh, and and I. So what? That marathon runner, he would never cross the finish line because he's got a different route. So that would be sin. The weight is that thing that he just has packed on. Any of you guys veterans? So when when I went through boot camp, we would have to do. I. I what what branch? All right. Anybody? Else? What what branch? Just call it out. Navy, I, I've, I've heard of them. They, so what were you? Army. Army. So Air Force, it's going gonna, gonna to shock you Marines and Army people. We, we had to do, I think, uh, it seemed like it was two or three miles that we had to hike. I mean, uh, <laughs> it was further than that. And they gave us like half a day to do it with one lunch break. But what, what you do, so when, when, you're, when you're on those, those uh, uh, marches, and, and especially if you're, if you're doing some running, you got, they put a backpack on you. They, they load you down, and you go, this isn't right. I could run a lot better if I didn't have this weight on. So that's kind of the analogy that he's using. If you're going to run a marathon, you need to run the marathon with as less weight encumbering you as possible so, so you're not pulling things with you. What we do is we have all the stuff in the past, we just keep piling it on, piling it on, piling it on, and, and after a while, we start thinking, man, I am, I am just, I am, am worn out. So it says, run with endurance the race that is set before you, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. So you gotta have a focus. It's, and, and in this sense, he says the author and finisher, the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end. So he's the beginning of the race and the end of the race. If I have this, this obstacle and it affects my direction, then he's, he's going to say it's easier for me to go around it than over it. Uh, or it will, it will trip me up. I'll fall. That's what an obstacle does in life. Or I'll overcome it. Those are my only three options that I see. I can either overcome it, try it and fall, or uh, just avoid it, go around it. So in, in, in a marathon, you're going you're gonna to kind of pick and choose. You're not going to say, that, that's the roughest path. He said, this is on, on my route, and uh, uh, if, if, if I can have more peace, I'd rather have peace. But sometimes you say, man, I've got to go over that. If, if it's a mountain, I've got to go over it. If it's a rocky area, I've got to go over it. And so what happens when we start attacking the obstacles, we end up getting stronger and getting different perspective on the race. You get the obstacle behind you, you go, man, I got that obstacle behind me. I think I might be able to make it. 
uh, and, and, and it becomes part of, the, part of the journey, part of the, the, the strength, if you will. So he's, um, when, when I was on the farm, we would, uh, plowing, I would, we would pick a, a, a post at the end, and, and I would just lock my eyes on that, set the plow, and, and go right to that. It, that would g- give me a perfectly straight line. Uh, if, if I just thought, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go as straight as I can without having anything to focus on, I'm, I'm going to be uh, a, a little off course. Uh, horse training. Horse training, we'll, we'll, do, we'll do one spot. I'll, I'll, I'll show you with him. So uh, uh, one spot. And so if I'm training him, so let's say there's a fence right here. And I'm training him to come towards me. I'll try to get him to go forward. He'll say, ah, this is ridiculous. You know, I've got a fence over there. You're telling me I can't go forward, but you're cueing me to go forward. Eventually, this back foot is going to come towards me because he's just trying to figure it out. And so, so, so what I'll do in, in horse training, so if you can imagine a, uh, a fence over there, and then I'll tap him. And then once... Right there, right there. I, I, I'll go to the, the, the front and I'll say, you are amazing. Mr. Ed has nothing on you. You're awesome. Some of you don't know who Mr. Ed is. I am very sorry. That dated me. Um, but uh, so, so my, my point is, I'm not saying I need you to do a smooth side pass towards me. I'm saying I want you to take one step in my direction, the direction I want. As soon as you do that, I'm going to say you're awesome. And then we can build on that, that uh, success. One spot, one direction, then we, we, we build on the other, the other spot. Uh, so life, you may say, Randy, that sounds really good, but man, I am a leopard. I have so many spots. Just pick one. Just go, you know, here's the big one. I think I'll work on it. Here's the thing about spots in life or things in life. Find something that, you, that needs to be done that you can do, that you will do. So if, if any of those things say, okay, this needs to be done, I can do that, but I know I won't, then go to something else. Say, you know, I know me, I'm not gonna work on that yet. I can do it, I'm just not going to. Then go to something else and, and, and start saying, okay, here's a spot, here's an area that I need to work on, I can and I will. In, in, in laying aside weight, there, there's a scripture in, in, in 1 Peter 5, 7. It says, casting all your care on him because he cares for you. There's some weights that you just can't handle right now. Maybe you need to. You just can't handle right now. You say, God, I'm, I, I really can't deal with this right now. He said, casting all your cares on him because he cares for you. Here, God, I, I, I need to give this to you. There's some things you need to say, God, I just need to throw this in the trash. But there's some things you say, God, I need to give this to you. And you give me wisdom on how to deal with it. Uh, J- Jelly Roll has a song that uh, something inside me is broken. Uh, and, and, and I think so many people uh, relate to that. I'm so damaged beyond repair. There, there are a lot of people who go through life feeling like something inside me is broken. I'm damaged beyond repair. I will never get over this rather than God that's a weight that so easily attaches itself to me, and God, would you give me strength to release that to, to you? Um, obstacles, wait. So, all right, you want to volunteer one more time? All right. And you can just stand right there. Just stand there looking pretty, and uh, we'll... Uh, uh, so, so here's, here's obstacle. So, so th- this would be... Uh, so, so Starbuck, we either need to go... Around this, uh, you need to fall or, or get on it. And he goes, okay, I can go over that. So then after a couple of times of doing that, we go over that. Then I'll say, okay, Starbucks, c- you think you could just stand on that and, and rest on the obstacle? He goes, yeah, I think I, think I can do that. And suddenly, so there we go, suddenly my perspective changes and he says, you know, this is not a big deal. Uh, and and we'll, we'll come over to, uh, so, so you, you saw him do the teeter-totter. So let's say if we come over here and it's not something he can just walk up. He goes, okay, now it's 
the teeter-totter is different. And so you're asking me to go on the teeter-totter and, uh, and, and I can't just walk up on it. So he says, okay, well, I, I guess if you want me to do that. Nope. And, and, and th this would be. There we go. Good for you. Uh, <laughs> That'd be a great example of me and God, though. I don't think so. No, you've done it before. I don't. Not not this time. This is the first time I ever tried this. It really is. I love it. Okay. All right. So uh, I didn't know if he was going to kick or buck or what. So I'm glad you. So. Okay, so this is called the spin. <laughs> I'm just joking. It's not called anything. So, <clears throat> so, if, so now, if, if, if I were to say, okay, w w we've adjusted to the fact that there's, there's uh, weight behind this, and, and, and so we're pulling this. This is our past, and uh, saying, you know what? I, 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 think, I, can, I think I can make it. Uh, we're not going to go as far, not going to go as fast, and uh, so, so we'll do this in life. We'll just keep, keep doing this and say, okay, well, I guess that's just my, my life. And then we go, okay, now I've got a weight and an obstacle. So what's going to happen? I need to let go because I'm going to have a wreck. So thank you. So the, the in, in life, that, that's, that's really pretty much living my life without God. I just tried to, to carry it all. It, Jesus says, so the Bible says, casting all your care on him because he cares for us. Every one of my cares. Say, God, I, I cast that on you.